Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can book a flight with Wizz Air. I'm going to walk you through the booking process and what you have to do in order to avoid extra fees and how you will manage to also book it as the cheapest flight without adding any extra cost to it. So I found this cheap flight on Skyscanner and I'm in fact going to take it um, Sunday 11th of July from Friedrichshafen in a, an airport that I have personally never been to actually. It's one of the few ones in Germany that I have never been to, to Tuzla in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So currently I'm in Mexico, but I do plan to finish off all European countries in summer because I still have like five European countries left and Bosnia and Herzegovina is one of them. So I found this cheap flight from Germany to to Bosnia and Herzegovina and it's quite cheap for me to go to Friedrichshafen so I will take this flight and I'm gonna book it right now. If you are new to my channel then make sure to check out the how to find cheap flights tutorial series in which I walk you through all my tricks on how to find cheap flights and how you can get cheap transatlantic flights and within Europe for like always like 10 euros or something. Um, so yeah make sure to check this out. Um, after this video, of course. Right now I'm on the landing page of Wiz. If you come from Skyscanner, if you've seen my tutorial videos, then you know what I'm talking about, then you're redirected to Wiz, but you can obviously just search in the same flight on wizair.com as well. If you have found a flight, first of all, what you will see is you'll get these, um, these dates here, yeah? If I click on one here, then it's gonna say, okay, it's uh, a bit more expensive. It's gonna be like 34 euros or 44 euros even without the discount club. Obviously the crosses mean that there are no flights. Why are there two prices right now? Well, one is with the WIS discount club and one is without the WIS discount club. I made a video for you about the WIS discount club. I'm always in there unless I'm like not in Europe for, for a longer period of time. Like now it has expired and I'm at the moment I'm not in the WIS discount club, but I might actually book it right now um, by walking you through this process. It's basically worth it if you take more than yeah, two or three flights. So yeah, let's check out the prices in the WIS discount club. I will actually, I think, just book it. Now, the first thing that we will see here is pack and save, all in and full flex or travel light. Basically, just look at the flight prices, yeah? 9.99 or 75 euros or 55 euros. Guys, this here is seven times more expensive than the actual flight. What do we get for this? Let's first start with the pack and save package. We get a 20 kilogram checked in bag. Not bad, but I always travel with hand luggage because it is, well, a lot more efficient. It's quicker, it's cheaper, it's more comfortable. There's all the positive things about traveling with hand luggage only. Free seat selection. Now, what does this even mean, guys? As if we will be standing on the plane. Of course, you'll get a seat. And it doesn't really matter. Like, this flight is probably like two hours long. One hour 30, even less than this. See, so why do we need to select a seat in a plane where we don't have any, like, priorities through the seats anyway. Like if I just check in normally, there's a one in three chance that I in fact get a window seat. So this is really not worth it. In most cases, there will be empty spaces on the plane anyway, especially in COVID times, where you can then just literally go to the window and have it for free. Despite this, I don't think it's worth paying this price here just to sit on the window. I think these one and a half hours you will survive if you don't sit at the window. Okay, free carry on and trolley bag on board. This is actually quite good. So you actually do get a trolley on board. This can be very useful, but as I said, I normally travel with hand luggage only because it is a lot more convenient and obviously it's gonna be cheaper. What is the all in and full flex? Online flight change without flight change fees? Okay, but then you still need to pay the difference to the flights, yeah? If I, I showed you above here, here I would pay 44 euros for the flights. So if I change the, the, the flight, that does not mean that the change itself is for free. I still need to pay the difference, which would be 30 euros and thus three times more expensive than my original flight. Despite this, I think it's gonna be a lot more efficient if at some point, for whatever reason, I can't take a flight to just, okay, lose nine euros 99 and who cares about this really? Like we're not talking about morals right now, we're really talking about efficiency and cost-wise it's a lot better to, to just, well, drop the flight despite the fact that it almost never happens. In my life, I think I have not taken two or three flights um, in all the times that I've traveled. So 
it barely happens that you will miss a flight uh, so you can ignore this refund to Wiz account within 72 hours guys think about it We just debunked this package and why we don't need this do you want to pay 60 euros? Just in case if you miss the 10 euro flight that you get 10 euros refunded to your Wiz account You still lose 50 euros then guys. This doesn't make sense. I, I love Wiz Air. I fly them all the time and I think they're a great airline But obviously we don't need these packages Yeah, if we do need a checked in bag for whatever reason then you can consider it but Overall, it will still be a lot cheaper even if you need to have a 32 kilogram checked in bag It will be cheaper to just book a single bag a checked in bag Later and I will show you how to do this as well But obviously these packages here will be quite expensive. Yeah, so ignore them Just take the cheapest hit 9 euros 99 So now you need to sign in if you don't have a WIS account yet You need to quickly create one so I just signed in right now and I can see okay My WIS discount club is expired because I haven't been to Europe in a long time but I'm gonna get the discount now. Fly smart and save on your bookings. A total of five euros on this alone by buying Wiz Discount Club for only 69 euros 99. Keep in mind, this is for six people, yeah? This is for me and for up to five companions. So all of these will also get reductions. That is indeed cheaper than the standard package. So I'm just gonna select the group package right now, accept the terms and conditions, and then join the club. And now obviously it has added the Wiz Discount Club to my, um, to my itinerary here and to the total amount that I need to pay. So yeah, now I hit continue. You'll just pay it one time and then the Wiz Discount Club is valid for one year. And the cool thing about it is it will automatically expire and then you'll have to renew it manually. So it's not like a subscription, it's really a one-time yeah, payment that you do to have it for one year and then it automatically expires. This is why I love it so much. Okay, we are directed to the next page where you basically need to fill in your details. Now I'm logged in with my account right now so it knows who I am, Luca Pferdmengers. Wow, surprise. Now we need to select the check-in baggage. If you do need checked-in baggage on your flight then select it here. Most of the time a 20 kilogram bag is enough. Even if you overdo it a little bit, normally nobody cares. Like we have been on flights where we had like a 22 kil kilogram bag and nobody really cares. Yeah, so if you are around 20 kilograms, you will be fine. In the worst case, you can even take a bit of the of the suitcase then into your hand luggage quickly if they do make stress. But normally it's not a problem and you should just go for the 20 kilograms kilogram bag. Um, if you do have a lot of luggage, select the 32 one of course. It is going to be cheapest if you buy your checked in baggage here on this page because later it's just going to be more expensive as you can imagine. But that does not justify the packages that we've seen in the beginning of the video where you get like this full round yeah, package for no reason. Just book a single piece of luggage here and you are going to be fine. But I'm going to hit I don't want to checked in bag because I obviously fly with hand luggage baggage only yeah so I tick the box here cabin baggage no free carry-on bag is enough god damn it they always want me to verify everything like three or four times with flex we don't need this a helping hand for travel uncertainties blah 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 online flight change without flight change fees I've already debunked this refund to your WIS account if your reservation is cancelled I've also debunked this. The funny thing is if it's canceled, if the flight is canceled, you do get the refund anyway. So this is really like, it's it really doesn't even make sense because you do get the refund anyway if Wiz Air cancels the flight for whatever reason. Upgrade to Wiz Go, another package. Online check-in up to 30 days prior to departure. Why would you need this? I'm literally just in the train on the way to the airport so I can quickly check in on my phone takes one or two minutes it's super quick this is unnecessary free seat selection we debunked um 20 kilogram checked in bag as i said if you need a bag put it in here but not there um, you see upgrade for additional 45 euros guys This is 4.5 times more than what the original flight fare was and keep in mind The only reason why it says 79 euros now for me is because I indeed want to book the Wiz discount club for this year Because I'm going to be flying a lot more than three times on Wiz Air. I know this already So it makes sense for me to get off 10 euros on every flight 
over 19 euros 99 and even now you saw the original fare was 15 euros and it still get five euros off through the Wiz discount club so it really makes sense for me to to buy the Wiz discount club especially because it's in a group fare so i'm going to divide it by six with my friends so it's in the end just yeah barely over like 10 euros per person which is amazing so i'm going to hit continue and we will be directed to the next page and we are slowly getting towards an end um, guys this by the way applies to every booking process that you will ever have um, when you book a flight yeah every airline every third party will present you with lots of packages that are re really profitable for them because they don't need to do so much more for you to buy this package um, but it's going to be yeah in the end a waste of money for us we just want to fly the cheapest continue without recommendation no not without guys this is what i mean um read carefully i now read continue without recommendation but you want to read continue with recommendation choose seats later i don't want to book a seat why would i book a seat i get a seat anyway so i'll continue with priority we don't need auto check-in we don't need we just do it on our phone it takes two minutes airport check-in we certainly don't need why would we want to pay to queue at the airport when we can sit down and work and be productive or whatever like this this i really don't understand why would we pay on purpose in order to stand in a queue like this doesn't make sense um it would be better to say you can check in online and sell your online check-in so you don't have to wait at the airport and maybe you can buy this for 10 euros or whatever probably more people would buy it but why would you on purpose wait in a queue in an airport if you can literally just do it on your phone arrive at the airport later if you don't need checked in baggage yeah so this um, important airport transfer no we take buses travel insurance no 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 I'm actually with my bank with N26. I get a free travel insurances with the business plan for $9.99 a month. This then obviously also includes my bank account that I get with it. So it's just a little add up. But trust me, guys, I've been to like 50 countries without even having a travel insurance. So you don't need this really. Um, just hit no insurance. And you certainly don't just want to be insured for one flight. If you do want to get a travel insurance, get it but not for just one flight, then have it for something that is valid for a year or so. Cancellation cover. So I can pay seven euros right now that in the unlikely event of me canceling this flight that I get nine euros back. Is this worth it? Of course it's not because I just pay seven euros because I won't cancel the flight. Like it's really unlikely. And this address here is no longer even my address because we moved houses. So even if it doesn't even include the house number, I'm comfortable with you seeing this because it's no longer where I live. Um, so that's fine. Now you see, use your Wiz Air accounts credit for your payment. Your balance is 75 euros. Well, that's great. That nearly even covers the Wiz discount club for the year. And how did I get this balance? I got this balance through booking my accommodations through the partner link. I'll put the link into the description and also the link to the video that I made about this. Because basically this means that I fly for free on Wiz all the time, yeah? I can fly for free on Wiz because I book my accommodations that I book anyway, literally with no extra charge. I just use the link that Wiz Air provides for booking.com and I book the same accommodations for the same price that I would do anyway, but I get cash back and it's actually 5%, so it's a lot of cash back. If I spend 10 euros a night, which is not a lot, if I'm somewhere and I spend 10 euros a night, then after 20 nights, I have a full flight on Wiz Air and it's most likely gonna be more. Like if you stay in a more fancy accommodation with four people or whatever, and you, you divide the cost anyway, and you maybe pay like 50 euros or whatever, that's literally four nights and you get a free flight with Wiz Air. This is crazy guys. So check out the video below if you want to find out exactly in detail step by step how I fly for free with Wiz Air. So I use my Wiz account balance. I have read and agreed the privacy blah 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 blah. Yes and I do want to use the 75 euros of my Wiz account. Great so you see now it deducted it. I have 75 euros of balance and now I just need to pay four euros 98 to fly to Bosnia and to have the Wiz discount club for an entire year, not just for me, but for five of my friends as well. How crazy is this, guys? This is insane. This Wiz discount club um, gets me literally 10 euros of every flight I take, which is amazing. Plus I fly for free anyway. Um, so the money that I pay is for free in the end because I book my accommodations 
through the Wizz Air link. This is insane. I just pay four euros 98 to fly to Bosnia now. I need to put in my CVV here and um, yeah, choose the currency that you want to pay in euros, of course. And then you literally just hit pay and book now. I take a picture of the confirmation number up there. I don't want to show you mine um, right now. This here is just the flight number. Of course, I don't want you to have my actual confirmation number because otherwise you could probably even access my account. So I want to make sure that this is not the case, yeah? Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I post daily videos mainly about crypto and traveling. Go check out the links in the description on how I, for example, fly for free on Wizz Air. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.